Okay, hello everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to our channel. Uh, this weekend is the long weekend, the June long weekend, and we are down here in the beautiful lily pot in Mullingar. Tomorrow is Saturday and we're going to take part in a local event, which is? A half marathon, a full marathon, 10k run and 5k run is what's happening here tomorrow. Um, because Abby's only back from injury, she's only going to be doing the 5k, and they're done in five, uh, 15 minute segments so to allow people to social distance so there's i think there's 15 people allowed into each pod as well i'm actually going to try the half marathon myself probably around quarter past 10 in the morning and we'll see how we get on yeah and we'd like to thank frankie wright who is the manager of this place and um, thank him very 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 much for allowing us to come here tonight and park up our little lucy lou and we have abby's mother and father coming to join us probably later on this evening or first thing tomorrow morning and we shall make a good weekend of it as well so for now we're going to get set up and we'll give you a look at what the whole thing looks like in a couple of minutes so sit back and enjoy don't forget press the like button and subscribe if you already haven't done so and leave us a comment we'd love to have the chat okay so i put bars together okay so we're all settled in now for the the evening we have uh, the windbreakers up and the canopy overhead just having a cup of tea and we're going to set up the barbecue now it's what it's five past five at the moment so we have a barbecue so we should be eating around six uh, we're going to chill out have a couple of beers maybe go for a walk down by the lake let the dogs wander around and uh, get ready for tomorrow's half marathon of 5k enjoy your tea and we'll see you for barbecue in about an hour's time Just after having a bit of dinner, we're now bringing the dogs out for a little bit of a walk. It's just so they can water every plant that's here. It's that time of the evening. The midges are going to be coming out soon enough. Unfortunately, we didn't have our barbecue because we forgot to defrost our food. So somebody's saying that the burgers are going to taste so nice tomorrow night. We're on one of the trails here that the kids actually use for when they're doing their little boot camps and their orienteering. As you can see at the back there on the pictures that we've been showing you earlier on, the little dens that have been built by the kids as well. Kind of like little wigwam type structures or base camps or something yeah, like that. And base camp. Hmm. Yeah. We go with the army term of base, base camps, camps anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but that's them there again. You can see them there. I don't know whether the kids made them or the adults made them or whatever the case may be, but there's plenty of stuff here for the kids to do at weekends. It's absolutely fantastic, the area. A fair place to Frankie Wright for actually organising all this type of stuff as well. As well as the races that he's organising on Monday for us. A big part, not Monday, tomorrow and Sunday. You'll have the Martin Club of Ireland, about 150 of those coming down to run these races or events all over the weekend as well. And some of those guys have everything from 10 or 20 Martins right up to well over a thousand Martins at this stage. Going down for six and seven hours a day, just walking, running, doing whatever they want because they want to and they like it. They can. And the guy that's actually parked up beside us up at the moment, he's setting up a tent there at the moment. There's a couple of friends coming up later on, and they'll be setting off at about seven o'clock in the morning to do to do their marathon. And this is his three hundred and seventieth. I'll be just turning over for my second part of my sleep at seven o'clock in the morning. Just so you know, I'll get up around mm, half nine maybe, and now for my five k walk for eleven ish, uh, ish. Yeah. And tomorrow I'm going to do the half marathon myself as I said before and Abby's going to just do the 5k just to look after our little injuries and hopefully later on in the year when one of these events is back on again I think around August for the Celtic Warrior weekend we might be able to step it up a notch at that stage and maybe have a barbecue before as well <laughs> So if you can see out in the water there there's a few swimmers out there they belong to the local triathlon club Edenbury Triathlon Club and they seem to be doing a training event here today 
in the water. Some of them are getting on their bikes at the moment, and I would presume then at the end of the bike they'll do a run of some sort. I'm not too sure exactly what the distance is that they're doing, but it's probably 750 swim, 20 bike, and a 5k run. Another couple coming out there now. Well, one anyway, and one of the marshals. Great location. Well, I don't know how Abby's father persuaded Abby's mother to actually come out tonight. They weren't supposed to actually come until tomorrow, but... This is definitely a first time for this caravan to actually do something like this. I'm kind of committed now, so I have to go. A good 3.2 litre Ford Ranger. No problem pulling that through the fields anyway. <laughs> the man has driven everything from a Honda 50 right up to an articulated truck. Turned out to be a miserable morning again. It seems to be happening every weekend for us now at this stage. Anyway, I'm just going to go down and get my rest number for my half marathon that starts in about 8 or 9 minutes time. It's going to be nice and leisurely pace, probably about 2 hours, 2 hours 15 there or thereabouts. No problem with water out there anyway. Okay, so we're just here at the start of the half marathon and this is uh, Cole getting ready for for uh, his half marathon. 21 kilometers to be done. It's now just quarter past 10. Best of luck waves, really enjoy it. Just over 21 kilometers to go. Woo! <laughs> enjoy! Okay, so that's me sorted. I'm just registered now and I've got my number, I'm number 200. Ice is here beside me and he's ready for a nice leisurely 5k walk. Weather's starting to pick up, the sun is starting to come out, so hopefully I get to meet Cole out and, uh, out and about. Okay, and here I go, and I'm off on my 5k around Lilliput. Happy days. Alright, so we're just over uh, one and a half kilometres, myself and Ice, doing really well, and we come across this hunky fitness BC man. Well, how are you getting on? All good. Yeah? Just a 20k done around. 20k done, oh my god, well done baby. So proud of you. Oh, six minutes left. <laughs> Give us, mm, enjoy. enjoy. Yeah, yeah, all good. Well done. Just like that. 21 kilometers done. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. Right, let's keep going, ice. Well, that's me done and dusted. Two hours, three minutes and ten seconds. Absolutely delighted to that, consider that. I haven't done that type of training. But I suppose it's all about muscle memory. Once you know how to run a half a marathon, and once you know what you're doing, it's just a matter of going out and running nice and easy just to give yourself enough space to get down there. And of course the wind would pick up now and I left the wind sock back at the car or at the motorhome. I'm just kind of doing a cool down now, walking out to meet Abby and she's exactly where I thought she was going to be. That's her there in the distance with the ice man. From where that lady's after coming from, with operations and injury, and as you know by last week's video. She was on crutches and here she is now walking five kilometers. This is a big step for us in her training program. Absolutely delighted for her. And well done nice as well for doing five kilometers. Hello. Race number 200. Race number 200, 1.72 kilometers. <laughs> Just to come and see Ella. Ah, it's a great weekend, isn't it? Isn't it? Fantastic. Brilliant. So chilled and relaxed down here and nobody cares who does what or... The distance is the same, the burgers taste the same. <laughs> morning everybody, welcome to Sunday morning. It's absolutely beautiful here this morning. The sun has gone in for the moment, but when it comes out, it's probably in the low 20s. Um, another bit of activity happening here this morning. We have the Martin Runners out again, the half Martin Runners out. There'll be a 10K on and there'll also be a 5K. Some of the Martin Runners are out since about seven o'clock this morning. The Martin Club of Ireland have plenty of runners here again today going out for their second marathon in a row. These guys, this is just means nothing to them. They just go out and do it and they get on with it. Me, however, after my half marathon, yes, I feel fantastic. I'm gonna head out for a small run myself in a few moments time. Um, I'm not doing any of the organized activities here this morning. Abina is just chilling for the moment. We're after having a bit of breakfast. And um, when I come back from my run, we'll have a bit of lunch. And then what we'll do is we'll head out for a cycle on the road bikes that we have. Okay, so so far we've uh, just had our little push and we've come through 
Dysart, Castletown Gagan, and we're now right at the edge of the Kilbegan Road. We're planning on doing 20 kilometers, but the smaller route would have been about 14 kilometers, so we just decided to come out this way just to do an extra three kilometers out and then three kilometers back to bring us right up to the 20 kilometers on the safer roads. If there's anything, if we do anything to, to earn ourselves a barbecue and a few beers later. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely weather today, the sun is really shining, it must be about 17, 18 degrees. So we said we'd just get away from the motorhome and get some fresh air. Burn calories, then eat and drink more calories. Okay, good morning everybody, it's Monday morning. Um, once again the sun is shining. Uh, a little bit of a breeze out here, but it's not too bad. Um, I want to go on the kayak, but we're a bit away from the, the actual water itself. So I reckon if I get a good run at it, I should be able to kayak from here to the water. Uh, but we'll see. Once again, lovely weather, a bit of time for myself out here now, maybe do about 20-25 minutes out kayaking. Um, there's a beautiful um, island just off in the distance there that you can see. I'm going to give that a spin over that way to see if there's any of the swans or wildlife over there. And uh, then eventually then I'll tip back just here behind me, back to the, to the boating area. And maybe have a cup of tea and chill out. <sighs> Seems to be a little bit overgrown. It's quite nice. Ah, so, made my way over here to the little island, and uh, thankfully there's no swans here. And they are out a little bit over about 300 meters away from me over my right. So I'm not allowed to stay here for too long. I showed you there's a little nest there where they, they do have their little babies, but uh, I've always wanted to come out this way to this island and have a little look around but I've never have been able to because there are always the swans here so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get back onto the to the kayak and uh, I'll go for a little paddle around now and see what else I can, can see around here. enjoyed it if you do give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already maybe you think about doing so and maybe leave a comment and let us know how you think we're getting on so this week we were here in Lilliput we did a bit of kayaking some cycling running barbecues and drinks it was great to have my mum and dad here fortunately dad wasn't too well as he got a bug but they enjoyed chilling out mum got to read her book so overall it was a great weekend and of course the two dogs enjoyed playing with the ball and and going for their walks so once again, thanks for following us and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.